Hello! In this video I'm gonna show you how easy it is to test a web application using Testero. Let's suppose we have a demo application we want to test called Pet Clinic. We will test the login functionality by creating an acceptance criterion called incorrect login where a user tries to login without setting a password. Now we open Testerum and create a new test called incorrect login, the password is missing, and we define the test steps using the business language. The steps are Given I am on the login page, when I set Alex as the username and I click the login button, then I should see an error message. At this point, the steps are read because their behavior is not yet defined. To define their behavior, we have to add the Selenium substeps in order to interact with the browser. Next, we expand the step and click the Add Substep button. To interact with the browser, Testerum comes with Selenium integration. Select the step to open the browser at the specified URL. Set the URL parameter to open the application under test in the browser. We copy the application URL and paste it as the parameter. Every defined step can be reused in other tests too. We do the same with the next step. This time we want to type the username into the user input field. For this, select the Selenium step when I type some text into the field. Our user is Alex and we can use multiple selectors such as CSS selector, XPath, JavaScript or others to target the element. Back to our demo application, open the console, inspect the element and copy the ID that uniquely identifies it. In Testerum, we add the suffix CSS equals followed by the CSS expressions. In the same manner, continue with the implementation for the other steps. At this moment, each step has been implemented and can be reused in other tests. Now we are ready to run the test. In this part of the video, I will show you more good practices on how to test a web application. We will create a new test and reuse the step given I am on the login page from the previous step. Now, I will create a parameterized custom step. We define a step with two parameters, username and password. A parameter in a step is defined inside the angle brackets pattern. We continue to add the already defined steps. Let's implement this parameterized step. We define the values for the parameters. 
for the username parameter we set Alex and for the password Alex123. Now we add the sub steps which will execute the action. We add the step to write the text into the field. To access the value of the parameter username we have to write the parameters names inside double curly brackets. We set the XPath expression of the element where the text has to be typed. We do exactly the same for the password field. Now, let's see how we can declare global variables that can have different values depending on the environment you are executing the tests. In this step, the URL is dependent on the local machine. We want to run this test on different environments, for example, acceptance, staging, and so on. For this, we need to define a global variable with the name URL, which has this value. Also, we can add another environment called acceptance. In here, we override the variable's value with this acceptance URL. Let's use this variable inside the test. We replace the hardcoded server URL with the value of the URL variable. For this, we need to write the name of the variable inside double curly brackets. For more about global variables and environments, check out our videos. Sometimes you want to run the same test with different input values. For this, in Testerum we can create different scenarios. Each test scenario should have a unique name and in each scenario we can define multiple parameters. For our test case, let's create a scenario with the name incorrect login username is required where we define two parameters, username, which is empty, and password with the value 123456. At this point, we have to change the step in order to use the scenario's parameters. We replace the hardcoded values with the parameter's name inside the moustache pattern. Let's create more scenarios like incorrect login, password is required or username contains invalid characters. When executing this test, it will actually execute multiple tests for each scenario.
If you want to run the tests on multiple browsers, in Testerum you can go to settings and create your own setup. Inside Selenium settings you are allowed to set a delay between the steps, select the browser, select the custom browser version, specify the path to an installed browser, or run the test using a headless browser. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.